Now, Divya, there's a new study released here in Hong Kong that shows that COVID-19 patients may have prolonged gut viral infection, even in the absence of symptoms. What are the implications? Yeah, so the, the, you know, basically what they're saying in the study is that the virus may continue to infect, to infect and replicate in the digestive tract after clearing in the airway. And this is according to a, a study that they've done. Um, basically what they're saying is, you know, this virus spreads mainly through respiratory droplets, um, spatters of virus laden discharge from the mouth and nose. But, you know, since the first week of the pandemic, scientists have actually been saying that this Infections in the virus, uh, in, infectious virus in the stool of patients that may also play a role in the transmission. So you might be feeling better from, you know, a, you know, a lung perspective and a throat perspective, and you're you're breathing fine. But that doesn't mean that your digestive system isn't impacted by this, and it might still be in your system a few days later. Divya, in the meantime, of course, we mentioned earlier, India surpassing Brazil as the second worst hit country. It seems almost destined at this point to overtake the U.S. in the numbers. Is there any sign that the curve could flatten out? You know, at this point, it doesn't look like it. You know, they added more than 71,000 people have died from the virus in India. They recorded over 90,000 cases overnight. You know, that's massive. And it really doesn't look like the curve is steepening at this point. So, you know, unfortunately, it's not really looking good for India at this point.